Here we go. Your no more die. Don't touch the queen shall return. Let's see what the dance with me. The doll is ready. My May me My enemy is death in flaw. I am the demon weapon on see me and Feed on your fear. Mother's roots strike up. The mother tree is life. The destiny is a quick shot. Here, call my parade of fallen flame. My daggers feed on your fear. May mother's roots strike up and take you. My dad. I'll save you. The roots are wet. It is folly to stay here in the open. My daggers feed on your fear. Up here. May mother's roots strike up and take you. Destiny. Fear the true dark. I'll serve you.
Hey guys, Banana Luck here. So that was the 50k Nightmare, Nightmare 4 run uh, with just Hex and Twyla as the solo DPS of the run. And um, we do have the best slots for them. Torador supporting uh, Twyla and then uh, Iova supporting Hex here as well as the debuff, the defense down from Torador and also the magic and physical damage vulnerability debuff from Mari. We'll get into that in a bit, but that's the 52k run and the damage stats that we have going on. And beyond that, uh, we also have a few adjustments here. So firstly, Torador is in the Morel Peace Gear, and both units have got the Invigoration buff on them. And Magda is there for the Penetration and Damage Increase. Uh, you can see that I've lined Magda up together with where Twyla and Hex are actually, so that she gets they both get the 20% uh, damage increase as well as the 15% ignore the defense and magic resistance. And then on Mari, we have the passive that inflicts uh, vulnerability uh, for both physical and magic damage by 20%, and this benefits Hex quite a bit. Uh, since there's also a, the part of his kit where you know he gets extra damage from targets inflicted with CC effects, stun, freeze, immobilize state by 60%. And yeah, other than that, uh, not really much else to mention. Hex is A4, which is why he's putting out that amount of damage and uh, almost maxed out exclusive. Twyla, on the other hand, pretty impressive damage, uh, A0, unskilled as well, you can see this is where the skill crystals start, from 50 dust and 1 skill crystal onwards, and we don't even have her good skills maxed out, it's actually the defense penetration one, which is arguably the worst skill to have when it comes to guild boss 1, because uh, the boss doesn't even have much defense in the first place. So what we really wanted was really a maxed out ultimate, but yeah, didn't get to get there. But yeah, I think she's proving to be a good guild boss one unit, but that's pretty much it. Uh, for the fact that over here, we could actually maximize her bond skill and get her to get the extra 60% crit damage because Hex is on the battlefield. But if we're talking about Samra, you probably wouldn't use Hex there, which is where Twyla probably falls off quite a bit. So... Yeah, and there's some RNG involved in his, her kit, with the 40% chance to cast the range blade. Uh, similar to Hex, the damage fluctuates quite a bit, but that's alright. Still a very decent unit for, you know, uh, Nightmare 4 Guild Boss 1. Uh, if you have full team like Night uh, of Nightmare units like Arrogance and uh, Lars, she'll probably benefit even better from those. So yeah, uh, gear-wise, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is almost 200% attack, 227% crit damage, uh, 400 attack speed as usual. And then Hex is almost in the same stuff. 200% uh, attack and 227% crit damage, 400 attack speed in total. So yeah, that's, that's it. Nothing much special with the other dudes. Invigoration, Invigoration, and the Mana Spring to get more Freeze going. We've got an Invigoration to buff um, Twyla. And then uh, Iova is just there for the lot bonus. We didn't actually deploy him at all. So that's the showcase. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, if I missed out anything. Uh, but that's the run to really maximize the damage. Uh, Mari the extra vulnerability as well as Magda with the penetration and damage increase. So yeah, that's going to be for the video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like or subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.